Hi, I'm Grim, and welcome to Man vs Film. This is a movie review for Stakeland. Stakeland's a movie that I've watched a number of times over the past few years since it came out in 2010, and it's a movie that I really like, primarily because of the way it tells a kind of vampire story. I'm a big say, vampire movie person. I really like a lot of those uh, genre flicks. And this one does something a little bit different. It has a kind of post-apocalyptic America where a vampire epidemic has just kind of wiped out the majority of the population or the civilization or civilised people, as it once were, and now what's left is a kind of ramshackle land where people are trying to look after themselves, defend themselves, nobody trusts each other. And you have the lead character of Martin, whose parents are killed by a vampire, only for a stranger to show up and help save him from the same fate. Now, the stranger is called Mister, and he kind of takes Martin under his wing as the two of these guys traverse the land, just trying to get to Canada, where it is New Eden. Along the way, they meet a few different people who join the group, leave the group, and they bump into a group of religious fanatics known as the Brotherhood. People who believe that the vampire epidemic was sent here to cleanse the world of unrighteous people. Stateland is, is very well shot. It's, and I'd say it's, it's a beautiful looking movie. It's got some really nice shots that you just not expect from this kind of genre movie. And it's a road movie as well, and it's a post-apocalyptic movie. You get lots of signs of these guys just looking through derelict buildings, siphoning gas from another vehicle just so they can get a few hundred miles down the road. The wariness as they bump into other people is the uncertainty of whether this is friend, foe, or a foe pretending to be a friend. And then you have the vampires themselves. These aren't smart, savvy, articulate vampires. These are animals. They don't talk, they act animalistically and they just want to attack and feed. And then you have the Brotherhood, another foe, so to speak. So you have the vampires and you have the Brotherhood. And these people are obviously religious fanatics, but they seem to just be out there to cause as much pain and grief to everybody else who's not in that group that they can. The action in the movie, and this is a fairly low budget movie, is pretty terrific. You have lots of fight scenes that look high energy, that look dangerous, and had me kind of cheering on the lead characters to say, fight their way out of it. And they do get injured as well. It's not as if they're, they're superheroes just brushing these vampires aside. They actually take hits and they keep on moving. The movie's got some spectacular scenes. One of my favourite scenes in the movie is when they get to the, the Canadian border and they're just they're at a place where they, they can sort of relax, and just chill out and then the Brotherhood turn up with a helicopter and start dropping vampires like bombs and when the vampires got up they just start attacking these defenceless people it was such an interesting idea and the movie is full of interesting ideas like this and it seems to sort of genre hop all the way throughout the movie from like action to thriller to post-apocalyptic to family drama to a survivalist movie it, it encompasses all these things one of the best elements of the movie is the fact of its world building. It creates a fully realised world that you can envisage. This isn't a small story, it's a large, grandiose story. They're, they're going through miles of land and, and they're just discovering all these different people. And it, it, as a vampire movie, is very different from other ones that I've seen. I think Stakeland is an excellent movie if you haven't seen it. It's a little bit languid, but it's really interesting. The characters don't say a lot. But then it's more in the case of them just grouping together and surviving. And I like that. I like the photography in this. I think it's great. I don't think it's a five out of five movie. It's not a fantastic, unbelievable, wow, you have to see it. It is a very good vampire movie. It's a very good post-apocalyptic movie. It's just a very good movie, which is why I'm going to give it four out of five. Check it out when you can. Let me know in the comment box what you thought of it. And I will see you next time on Man vs Film.